Dear Milo, Your first few months as a newborn was a unique time for our new family. There was the magic of your newborn scent, the chaos of your cries and the moments of calm. Your dad and I had some time off work. And so, during this period, our most favorite activity was visiting art galleries with you. We'd look at artwork, and in between viewings, we'd step aside to feed you or change your nappies. Through this process, I found the creative spark and started feeling like myself again. This inspired me to design your room with a modern art theme. Now for the inspo. The vision is to incorporate contemporary art like the Bauhaus graphic of the 1910s kinetic sculptures of Alexander Calder and Matisse's cutouts. I also wanted to use lots of bold, primary colors in the space. This will make it feel very childlike and overall a happy place to be in. Now for the plan. So here's my planning board where I listed our goals for the room as well as potential items we can source. I also added photos of the inspo and sticky notes and links to the items. I also made a SketchUp model to make sure things will fit before we buy them and to also see them laid out. On the left side, we will have the toy storage, play area, and gallery wall. And on the opposite side, we will have your cot and your nappy changing station. Let's get started! I wanted to create a mobile in Alexander Calder style. It plays with the idea of center of gravity and moves with the flow of air. I heard that babies like looking at them too. To start, let's draw some random shapes. One of my favorite YouTubers with Wendy also made this DIY. And she said it's easy to get in a state of flow and it's very calming to do. And she was right. Let's cut the shapes and paint them with bright, bold colors and interesting patterns. This is the finished product. I really like looking at them move so randomly and it's very very calming. I enjoyed making this DIY overall. The next day, I went to the textile shop to look for colorful fabric. I wanted to make a cushion and I was inspired by this IKEA hack book I found in the library where they turned a shelf into a sitting nook. I gravitated towards these bright, stripy fabrics that reminded me a lot of summer. I've cut the fabric to size and sewn them together. Ta-da! Here's the finished product. Now let's bring in the freshly assembled IKEA Trofast and put the foam on top of it. I also got the Flisset book display from IKEA. We live near a library and often we take some books home, so this could be a good way to store them. I'm yet to see how you'll like reading Milo, but I hope we found a way to make it exciting for you. Let's also drop in a yellow bean bag because why not? And top it with a blue pillow. This is where we could sit while watching you crawl and witness your first few milestones. Even Solo approves. Today, let's choose which prints to hang on the wall. This is a really cute one from artist David Shrigley. The art I chose is a combination of famous artworks, 
risograph prints, and paper cutouts. Hanging frames is always a challenge because it's difficult to be precise. But for most cases in this makeover, I just eyeballed it. We are also spray painting the sconce from Clearance a bright red color and getting some dinosaur toys to paint. I also made a paper art sculpture of a tiger in a suit. You were born in the lunar year of the tiger, that's why. Amongst all the pieces here, I would say probably this is my most favorite one. Isn't he so cute? As a finishing touch, here's the Daruba souvenir we got from our honeymoon in Sapporo. And now, let's reveal the new space. I hope you like it as much as I enjoy creating it. And let's make a lot of great memories here. Love, Mama. <laughs>